When I want to count my blessings, you come to mind. Hallelujah. Amen. When I make up my jewels, and I will spread them as a man spirit his own son that served him. Now there lies the secret of you being valued. Service. Yes. Underline it. If you are single and you are trusting God for a man that is world, for your duty day and night should be service. Excellent service to God. When you are determined to become a treasure as God wanted you to be, don't you ever be lazy at service. Service in the morning, service during the day, service at all times. Oh, 
you, 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 I'm not saying that. But no, no, you can't go be ready. Please, you can not. You cannot be ready now. Not now. So I'm expecting the sisters and the brothers to show with their hands raised up. If you are ready, say, I am ready. I am ready. God has perfected me. God has perfected me. I am suitable. I am suitable. For marriage. For marriage. Yes. It will happen very soon. Amen. Believe God. It will happen very soon. Hallelujah. Amen. For a man to be perfect in the sight of God, is this really possible? Is this really possible? I will read in Luke chapter 1, verse 37, that with God all things are possible. So that perfection can never be in the strength of man. It will have to take God himself to perfect us. Because this marriage of the thing is God's own institution and only him can make it work. So we got to rely on him to perfect us, to prepare us, and to make us ready. Hallelujah. Amen. Our job is to pay attention and get trained by God and take root downwards so that when we engage we can have fruit in our marriages. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel just few scriptures that we're just going to look at and then we'll run them. It's not going to be an everlasting message but pay attention. Possibly we interact together on the scriptures. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 14 I like the TPT translation. Proverbs 19.14. Can you find it? Okay, read the King James Version and then someone with TPT can help. TPT. Okay, you, you have it. Wait first. Let's do King James Version first and then you read TPT. Okay. House and riches House are and riches are inheritance. Of fathers. Of the, that's what you can get from fathers. But a prudent wife is from the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, antiquity. Let's look at antiquity. You can inherit houses and land from your parents. From your parents. But a good wife comes as a gracious gift from God. I like that. Word. Gracious gift. Others will say, precious gift from the Lord. Amen. So, it is not just being cute that makes a good wife. It is not the nails. My daughter will tell you that. You are very sick. Uh -huh. See, I'm sure the nails are done. The other one is there. It, it is not that that makes you a good wife. It is not your height. It is not even your figure. It is not the air do. It's not the star. But I believe God perfected you. And right now, you are a precious gift to one man. Every lady in the house says, I am a precious gift. That's what you must be to the man that comes the way to marry you. A precious gift. A precious gift. A very peculiar, unique gift. Hallelujah. Amen. You are not a knife, but a wife. Amen. A blessing, not a curse. So that your children wakes up and calls you what? Blessed. To find this very peculiar treasure, they don't appear everywhere. You can't find them on the street. You will not discover them because of good eyes. 
A good woman, a gift from God, cannot be cut on the street. There are too much of the gift that they are hidden and concealed. It would take a man who loves God to be able to discover them. To find them because God will not keep treasures on the floor. Treasures are hidden. For me as a natural father, I will refuse to give my precious daughter to any scumbag. I will refuse. Because to me, they are my treasures. I look after my girls more than I look after my boys. Even though I love them. Hallelujah. I look after the girls. I protect them. My eyes are on them. You touch them, you are touching me. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't play games around them. And God talks to me about my girls because they are my treasures. Remember, you are all my girls. Hallelujah. Amen. I watch after your souls. That's why the enemy cannot snatch you from my hands. It's not possible. Before any negative thing happens to you, I am aware before it happens. And I take my position. Amen. That's why when you show up anywhere in the world, what people keep saying is that you are different. Mm. Some of you, you've been hearing people talk about you yourselves. In places I've never been, they will tell you there is something about you that makes you different. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Talk to yourself. I am a gift. I am a gift. I am a gift. A precious gift for that matter. Hallelujah. Let it be known to you that only God, only God will be the one. If you ever get access to my heart, that's for you ladies. If any man ever have access to your heart, that will only be possible because God made it happen. So don't do these things carelessly. Your God is thinking about you too much. He loves you too much. He's interested in your well-being. And he has sent me to tell you, you are a treasure. Amen. You are precious. Amen. You are valuable. Amen. When you look at the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 17, Malachi chapter 3 verse 17, God trying to describe how valuable you are to him. He began to speak in that Malachi. What did he say? Yeah. He said, and they shall be mine. Mm -hmm. They shall be mine, yes. says the Lord. Amen. If nobody, if anybody wants to see God's precious treasure, they must look at you. Do not allow anybody to ever look at you and think of you. If they think of you, at least let them not mention of you that you are valueless. I say to you on behalf of God, you are a valuable. Yeah. You are a treasure. Yeah. So ladies, don't look at yourself as if you are desperate. No, you are a treasure. Yeah. You are a treasure. Somebody has to hunt for you. Somebody has to dig very hard to find you. Yeah. You are concealed. You should not litter every street. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are a treasure. You cannot be a yes woman to everything. I'm coming for the men. Don't worry. Hallelujah. So he said, they shall be mine. Says who? The Lord of hosts. Who says that? The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. In that day, when I make up my jewels, when I consider my treasures, I remember you. When I want to count my blessings, you come to mind. Hallelujah. Amen. When I make 
up my jewels and I will spread them as a man spirit his own son that served him. Now there lies the secret of you being valuable. Service. Underline it. If you are single and you are trusting God for a man that is worthy, your duty day and night should be service. Excellent service to God. Excellent service to God. When you are determined to become a treasure as God wanted you to be, don't you ever be lazy at service. Service in the morning, service during the day, service at all times. Because anybody who serves will get to the top. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't see the cup that I drink with everywhere. You cannot. If that cup serves me, it has to be revived. Amen. It has to be specially kept. I have spoons now that no other person uses. Very different. I mean, mommy is jealous. I'm not even sure everybody knows it in the, in the kitchen yet because it doesn't stay there. Kept private because that's the king's instrument. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever is a treasure is revered, is regarded, peculiar and special. You are special. Amen. I don't care what has happened in your life. You are so special to God and God is Frightening himself in you. Amen. You are a treasure. Amen. Hit yourself, ladies, and say, I am a treasure to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So only God can give me to a man. Only God can bequeath me to any man. Not just anything that is in trouser. No. Only God knows my what. Yeah. Only God understands my value. So as I begin to serve in the house of God intentionally with devotion and with passion, as I begin to involve myself with excellent service, my value appreciates. My value grows. I become more expensive. The competition gets higher because of the degree of usage. Hallelujah. Amen. So you should be found in usher. You should be found looking after the kids. You should learn how to keep a house by keeping God's house first. Amen. Amen. Brothers, if you want a lady and you truly want that kind of a peculiar treasure, just sit back and watch what they do in the house of God. If they are useless in the house of God, that is an info that will be useless in the house. If every God is not valuable in the house of his father, he cannot be useful to you in your house. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a clue. That is a clue. My parents taught me that if you want to know how the woman you marry is going to look like in the later years, he said, look at the mother. Look at the mother. If I we were so taught by my parents that I can look at the lady, just look at her legs. I'd almost tell you about the future. Only the legs. I was raised with serious culture. I can almost look at you, just looking at you like this, as a little baby. I can tell what the next 20, 30 years will look like. All things being equal. And when I just look at your mother, it's an example of what you are likely to be in the next 10, 20 years. Hallelujah. Amen. So there's a lot of wisdom in understanding what foundations are in the life of those who come to us. There is no tree that became anything without a root. Your root defines your fruit. Yeah. Yeah. You 
want good fruit, have a strong root. If you have no root, you will definitely fizzle out in time. And what we need to pay attention to more is our root. Do you have a root? Who is investing in your life? Who tells you do this and don't do this? Are you the God of your own self? Who leads you? Where does the, the instruction that guides your life come from? From the social media. Hallelujah. Amen. So many things are out of place. That's why we have the entire community and the entire society the way it is now. The culture, the value, the fear of God, the respect, order is thrown out. And the truth is falling on the streets. Equity cannot enter. Anybody that stands for righteousness is become an object of caricature everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. But God is reconstructing the church. Amen. No matter how beautiful any lady is, don't marry any lady on the street. Follow them home to see exactly where do they come from. Where do you come from? Anybody without a root is a mistake. It's a disaster. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no man that I'm not married in this church that I cannot write a book about. Man, I can write books over them because I know them. Most of them were raised practically under me. So I can tell you you will have problem here. You will not have problem here. You, you can't tell me they did something. And I will not be able to tell you, yes, they did it or they didn't do it. Because I raised them. You talk about that, I will tell you what she can do. She's not going to be married. So if I see the vision about her, just come to me. I will tell you. Amen. And I, I promise you I will be 99% right. So you must have a root if you must get a fruit. Amen. And it is the root that supports the tree. Yeah. And supports and produces what? The fruit. Not the other way around. I don't care how much you are educated. I don't know. I don't want to know what you know from social media. You still need the root. Yeah. Tell that person, you are a gift of God to the world. As we run fast. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. Proverbs 18, 22. The Bible says, when a man finds a wife, he has found what? In this TPT, he said, he has found a treasure. TPT, he said, he has found what? A treasure. For she is a gift of God to bring him joy and pleasure. Hallelujah. The gift of God that is to bring you what? Joy and help me now. You may hear me. Yes. Thank you. Not pay and I will. Now because my wife is alone, the church scatters. Because who said? She's the mother of God. And she's in everybody's case. That is not a treasure. That is not a blessing. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why the, the book of Proverbs says, you know, Proverbs talks a lot of, it gives you a lot of wisdom. Mm. It says, a wise woman does what? He builds. Mm. I'm focusing on mothers because we need mothers. Amen. And thank God we have one here. Hallelujah. So, but the word, but no, I won't talk about the gospel. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. Come, let, let's roll fast. No, I have a little time. Proverbs 13, 22. It said, A good man, now I'm talking to the man, I'm on your case now. <laughs> so, a good man lives and inheritance for his children's children, and the wealth of sinners is laid up for the just. 
Now, every treasure will need a corresponding good man. And no man is good until he gets God. And he gets in Matthew chapter 1 verse 7 Matthew chapter 1 verse 7 the Bible says truly the Lord is good stop there he went further to say he is a refuge in the times of trouble so we have a good God how many of us agree so far we have a good God Amen. God is good say one more time God is good God is good. The good God cannot have a scoundrel son. The good God has good sons. And if you are a good son, it won't be a confusion to yourself. And let me tell you the very first requirement to being a good husband. Somebody that is ready to marry. Number one is, do you know this good God? Are you associating with God or you have a relationship with God? Some people come to church because they have association with believers. And they thought that is what is, it, 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 it requires. No, no, no. Relationship is what is needed. A man who does not love God cannot love a woman. It's not good enough for the treasures that God has. Let us tell me, I'm a treasure. I'm a treasure. Man, tell me, I'm a good man. Um, Come on, speak out. Now, why are you afraid? <laughs> They're not sure. <laughs> Let me tell me, I am a treasure. I am a treasure. Man, tell me, I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I really don't want to boil, but I'm just trying to show it. So God is good. God is good. So if God be your father, you must be good. Yes. And you cannot be good all by yourself. You can't be good. There is no goodness in man all by himself. Your goodness comes from God. Your goodness is a reflection of your foundation in God. You don't associate with God, you relate with God. You know Him, He knows you. You have a stand in His presence. You don't visit Him, you live with Him. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, you live with Him. He shows you how things are to be done, He guides you one step after another. He is your father. You are monitored. You walk with him. You can't be distanced from God and be a good man. You won't be good enough for the treasures that God has kept. So where do we find good men? In the house of God. Doing what? Serving. Serving with devotion. Not on the street. Not in the clubhouse. Not on the street. You should be part of those serving in the house of God. Look at the man. He's a good man. Hallelujah. Amen. You are seated. He's busy working. Amen. That's a good man. You are seated. He arranged chairs for you to sit. Amen. He does it every Sunday. You come late to church. He is here before you woke up. That's a good man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you've been coming to church more than six months. You have not found something to do in the house of God. That's not right. It's not good enough. That one at the back is a good man. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. You find good men in the presence of God. Serving. Because that's what God was looking for in the beginning. Hallelujah. When he created everything on the seventh day, he looked at everything is good, but there is no manager. So he was looking for a man who will manage and work everything he has created. So man was made to do what? To work the earth. To organize and put in place, put order in place. O 
over the things that God has created. We need a man. In your life, you are too disorganized. You need a man. Tap another lady beside you. You need a man. You need a man. I'm a good one for that matter. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So he said, God is good. Now, understand that the word itself is, is a confusion. But don't make the mistake of con the, the putting the confusion in the word of God. It is not God that is causing the confusion. There is an enemy. And he specializes in making what is good bad. Complicating what is already in order. Now, may that complication in your life come to an end today. Amen. May the world begin to see the good work of God in your life from today. Amen. Because God is good at all times. And the word says, He is a refuge to all those who put their trust in Him. In that now, chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. He is a shield to all them that put their trust in Him. The Lord is your shield. Yeah. He's your buckler. Yeah. And because you are pursuing him with passion, the next thing we begin to see in your life is his goodness. Yeah. His goodness is beginning today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, man, you have no choice but to be good. Yeah. You have no choice but what? To be good. And a good man leaves what? An inheritance for his children's children. How will you get the inheritance when you have no job? I want to marry, but I'm doing nothing. How will it work? There is a bill to pay. Ask God that I'm married. There, is, there are bills to pay. Marriage is responsibility. You are hearing testimonies here. As soon as every time they come, there is no bread. And the man is squeezing. I mean, you understand, sir? Two kids. And then plus your wife. I said, I love you, baby. I didn't say I want you. <laughs> but he accepted the marriage. And began to do his best. You are doing a good job. You are doing a good job. I appreciate you. I love you. I appreciate you. Amen. It's wonderful. It's not easy. I promise you. But good men will take their responsibilities. They will shoulder it. And they will begin to deal with it and ask for God's grace. Oh God, this is good. Now you are trusting. Good men takes what? Responsibility. Good men are not hit and wrong. They don't take advantage of other people. So boys, don't call yourself men and say you are looking for a wife until you have something to give. In Proverbs chapter 18 verse 14, the scripture says, a man's gift makes room for him and makes him to sit with great people and not with ordinary people. Uh, let me mouth to Marriage not be mount. Not responsibility. That I have a trouser that is not even touching the ground. And I have the chest. It's not the chest. It's not the chest. It's not even the back. So ladies, look beyond the back. You call it my back. Praise God. Look beyond that. It goes beyond that. When the chips are down, the boys will run to their tent. You only see men who will stand yes. and take responsibility. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You need a man, not a boy. That's why there should be nothing like boyfriend. We, do, we are believers. We don't begin things with boyfriend. And let's not forget, there is something I must not forget to show you. In the Songs of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 5, the Songs of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 5, it says, 
Do not stand off yeah. until you are sure you are ready. Yes, yes, yes. So don't say we'll be boyfriend and we'll walk from that place to marry. No lie. It does not. This society is already bastardized. The world itself is already in a mess. Yeah. In two weeks, three weeks, they will not climb you, finish you, and jump to the next person. Yeah. And then you, you, you are in trouble mentally, morally, you are disturbed. Your emotions now is now in, in confusion. So the way forward is don't stand love unless you are ready. Now the question is, are you really ready? Brother, what you should look for is job, not ladies. Yes. Find job. Pay yes. bill first. And when you successfully pay bill for about six months, and we can see you are paying, and you still have a little leftover. Then come talk to us about marriage. I will check you out. Hallelujah. Amen. But as it is now, they still send you pocket money. And you are thinking of girlfriend. Any of my sons that do that in this church, my boot is coming on the box. You want to escape it. And one after you are getting. And you know, that master was once what? A school boy. So I know the game. You want to come and see me? Came, came, come to tell me stories. You go clear for this out. I want to go out. out of my sight. Don't waste my time. Get out of my sight. Waste my time. <laughs> Not true. To you can Any of my children that brings anybody, you bring up. You walk out with two legs. Come my front. I didn't teach him and train him. If they didn't train him for me, come before me and say, not to say, you get my time to talk. And you came and tell me. I will respect the man to go judge him. But you, the daughter, you may have questions to ask. And that's your responsibility. Because you just showed me a sign that he will not take care of you. My mother said, Hello, Fufu. Do you don't know? Empty mouth does not make noise. Think about it. There has to be something inside your mouth that you are biting for noise to come. You can't make noise with an empty mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to go. Hallelujah. The last scripture. Okay, two more scripture. Matthew 12, 35. Matthew 12, 35. A good man out of a good... This is Jesus himself speaking. Look at Jesus. He said, a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bring get forth good gifts. Not the meal, but an evil man, a wicked man. We don't have wicked men in the church. Yeah. It is wickedness. It is evil for a man who is who is dry to be looking for a lady. It's a sin. We need to lay hands on them, cast out the devil, find work first. Do you? Find work first. Have something you are doing that is bringing an income. And show that you can take responsibility. Because marriage is what? Responsibility. And not just tell me you are working, but show me one of the questions I ask. I want to see the track record of you keeping order in your own personal life. I want to see that order in your personal life first. If you are doing business, can I see your book? You don't have to have millions. But let me see that 
1,000 that you are making in one week. Let me see how you are using it. If you are orderly in a little, we can trust you with something big. Amen. Hallelujah. And ladies are like, I want to see what you do with your money. I'm getting 5,000 at the end of the month and uh, 2,000 goes for the makeup. 2,000 goes for the rent. And then I need to do my nails. And then I need to eat. Ah, my life. Things like that. No matter what, men are to really take the lion's share of the bill. But ladies also cannot be empty. It will not be right in the world we are living in today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have to tell ourselves what? Yes. So a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bring get forth good things. And a, 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 a wicked man, an evil man, out of the evil, the evil treasure brings forth. The only thing is God is good. The head running where the head should run onto. Because you feel you are a man. That's not what makes a man it makes a man. We need more than that. Yes. Because only God is God one. Yes. But I feel like I'm a man now. Even the dog feels so too. Mm. And that doesn't make him a man. Praise the Lord. No, no, we're just talking about singles who must be good and happy. Lastly, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 6 and 16, and that's the gift of a man. You have to be a man who loves God enough to carry the responsibilities in the house of God. It's one clear proof that you are ready. It's one clear proof that you are ready. May the Lord bless His work in your heart. Amen. I wish I had time to just go more, but okay, it is enough. We had some time yesterday and we had quality teaching. Questions were answered and I know you are blessed. I know next year, this time next year, we will have many that would have transitioned from, from being single last year and then by that time we will be married. Amen. Do you believe that? Say amen. Amen. I will rise up as we pray.